Well, let me explain a little bit how it all started, because uh, how I got in touch. So, every, actually, it all started with this. Hold on, hold on. The egg of what? Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. No, because in, in my, my, my family, where I grew up, my father musician, my sister's musician, and I, my mother, she put me in the piano lesson, guitar lesson, flute lesson, trombone lesson, because I want to play with other people, and I was always practicing, but why, you know? And then I, st I, I discovered this Latin music, so I started playing this, actually. And I thought, this is pretty cool. I can already play in a band, just do this. And I'm in the band, and have a good time with everybody. So, and then I started, how I learned the, my first steps, like a teenager, like with 15, 16, 14, maybe, I, I played along with records, so I came across this record. Can you put it? You know this one? And normally I would like to have all kind of percussion, but we don't. We only have this, so I make the best of it. Yeah? I hear the congas, but I do not know how to play it because I did not know. I just had this. I see the crystal raindrops fall, and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. To make those rainbows in my mind I ended up doing I this all day And then I discovered this Just the two of us We can make it if we try singing and everything, right? Um, what I then do, for instance, if I have the timbales, this instrument, I would just do what the maracas do. But with your hands, it's totally different. The, the, let's say the challenge of the conga drum, of dominating the technique of these drums, is to know all the different techniques to get the different sounds out of it, right? So actually I say we have like seven basic sounds. So the first sound would be the bass sound. I always hold my hand like this, so I have the bass like this. This is the bass. Yes, perfect. Then what you have is what we call el abierto, the open sound, which is like this. already. Uh, like this for instance.
Ah! <laughs> 